Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, longest palindromic substring. Okay, so first of all, um, we need to understand the palindromic substring. So when I think about a solution, I usually start with small and simple input because uh, it's easy to understand and uh, find a solution. But this time, let's start with uh, like a big input like this. So question is, how did you find the longest palindromic substring in this input? So I believe you choose one character then um, expand the range to left and the right at the same time. So if you find the longest palindromic substring directly, so you are not human. So actually, uh, this is a main idea of solution today. Um, but problem is that we don't know uh, where to start. So that's why uh, we need to shift start point one by one. So point is we need to shift start point one by one to check longest palindromic substring. But what is a start point? So since a palindromic substring is like a mirror from some character, it's a good idea to consider current index as a center of a palindromic substring and expand left and right at the same time. So for example, so if we have input like A, B, C, B, A, and if we start from C, so in the case, um, we can separate this string so into like a, a B and a C is the center and B A. So um, A B and B A is uh, is a mirror when C is center. Okay, so let's see one by one. So input string is A B C B A, and uh, we use a left and right pointer. The both pointers start from index I. So uh, let's begin. So first of all, um, so we can create a definitely palindrome, right? Because uh, now we are all pointer pointing A. So only one character is a, a palindromic substring. So that's why max number, a uh, max length should be one. And uh, left pointer move left, right pointer move right from um, current index, because the center uh, current index is a center of um, palindromic substring. So next we move next and next. But um, left pointer is now out of bounds, right? So that's why we finish iteration. So in this case, uh, we will get uh, one as a max length. And uh, how about, uh, so let me change the color. And how about here? So also we start from left and right. And uh, again, so single character is a palindromic substring, so one. And uh, after that, we move left pointer here and right pointer is here. And uh, compare left character and right character, but uh, they are different, right? So that's why um, if we start from B, so maximum length should be one, right? So same. And so let me change the color again. So we start from I, L, R. So C is a, a palindromic substring, right? But one. And uh, move left. So now left is B, right is B. So left character and the right character is the same. So in that case, our length should be one, two, three, right? So max is now three, and then move next. So left is a, a A, and right is A. So they are same. In the case, max length should be one, two, three, four, five, right? And then um, left pointer move next, and the right pointer move next, but uh, they are out of bounds. So we finish iteration. Okay, so let me skip list of starting point B and A because we already found our max length. And uh, we did the same thing from B and A. But of course, a solution called check the uh, palindromic substring from B and A. Okay, so next question is how do you calculate length of palindromic we found? I mean, this max length, five. So from this example, um, we found the five as a max length. So simply, if we subtract left pointer from right pointer, so seems like we can get a length, right? 
So right minus left. And then now, so when um, max length is 5, so left pointer is now minus 1. So minus 1. And then right pointer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 minus minus 1. That means 6, right? But wait, so max length is 5. So it's longer than um, max length we found. So the reason why this happened is um, because two pointers stop at next position of max length of uh, palindrome. When i is 2 and the left is 0 and the right is 4. So we found uh, 5 as a max length, right? But we don't know 5 is a max length in the current iteration. So we try to move to the next place to find a longer palindrome, uh, palindrome, even if we don't find it in the end. So that's why left and the right point are always uh, overrun and stop at max length in current iteration plus one. So we need to subtract minus one from left and right calculation. So that's why this formula should be right minus left minus one. But uh, you still don't get it because uh, we have two pointers expanding at the same time. So you think we should subtract minus two. So this is a calculation of index number. So index number usually starts from zero, not one. So right minus left includes actually minus one already. So for example, so A, B, A. So if we have A, B, A, and uh, so left pointer is here, right pointer is last index. So in this case, actual length is three, right? But if we calculate the length with index number, that should be two, right? Index two minus zero. So it's already like include minus one compared with actual length. So that's why uh, we, uh, when we have two pointers and the calculate actual length, uh, right minus left minus one works well. So now you understand the main idea of my solution, but I'm sure you will not pass all cases. So can you guess why? So the reason is that I explained the case where uh, we have odd length of input string, in this case five. So point is we have to care about the both odd length of input string and even length of input string. So uh, let's see one by one. So we can use the same idea. So let me write it briefly. So if uh, we start from index zero, so max length should be one, right? Only a. And uh, how about uh, when we start from index one and uh, expand the left and right and the a and the b are different. So in that case, max length is one, right? And then move next. So, and expand the left and right and B and C. So max is one. And uh, how about uh, when we start from index one, zero, one, two, three. In that case, also max length is one, right? So is this uh, correct? Actually, no, right? Because uh, this range is a uh, um, palindromic substring, right? BB. So we should return two instead of one. So why this happened? Let's compare two cases. So regarding uh, odd length of input array, so center position of palindrome is definitely on some character array. Right? So when in current, num uh, current index number is two, so C is the center of palindrome. So how about the even length of input array? So th these two Bs are like a palindrome, right? So center of palindrome should be here. Actually, not on the character, right? Between two Bs. So uh, that's a problem. So how can you avoid this? So my idea to avoid this is we start a left pointer with current index and a right pointer with current index plus one. So we start iteration as if we are coming from between the characters. 
So, for example, when index is current index is one, so here. So left pointer start from um, also index one, but right pointer start um, current index number plus one. So let's see one by one. So now uh, left pointer and right pointer pointing uh, the same character, uh, different place though. Um, so P and B. So in that case, uh, we continue iteration. So left pointer is now index zero and the right pointer is index three. And uh, they are pointing different character, right? A and C. So we finish. So do you remember the formula? Right minus left minus one. So in this case, right pointer is three and the left pointer is zero minus one. That should be two, right? So that's why uh, uh, we will get the uh, correct max length. So we can use the same idea for both cases, but the uh, start point is different. So that's why we call the same function twice in one iteration. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, if not s, so in the case, we immediately return empty string. And uh, if not the case, so start point should be zero and uh, end point is zero. And then uh, we start iteration for i in range and the length of s and uh, calculate uh, um, like a max length of, of um, odd case. So let's create uh, like an expand um, around center. So passing the um, string and the left pointer and the right pointer. It's same, right? And uh, let me copy this. And this is a even case. And uh, as I told you, left pointer start with current index and the right pointer start with uh, current index plus one. So we check um, both cases at the same time. And then, so let's create create a expand uh, around the center. So here, oops. So def expand around center, and uh, string, and uh, left and right. So um, why left is greater than or equal zero. So this is a like out of one, out of one check. And uh, right is less than length of S. And S left character equal S right, right character. In that case, uh, we move two pointers to next. So left pointer should be minus one and the right pointer should be plus equal one because we start from center. I mean, current index. And then after that, um, as I told you, so formula is right minus left minus one. And then let's go back to here, odd and even. And uh, so um, in this case, uh, we take uh, like a max length of odd and even. So max length equal max odd and uh, even and then if max length so current length is greater than so previous length so previous length should be end minus start in that case um, update start and end point so start is current center position minus max length minus one and uh, divide two. So, and end equal. So I plus max length uh, divide two. So uh, let me explain why we need to minus one. Okay, the minus one is used to calculate the length of palindrome correctly based on um, 
like an odd case or even case. So here we try to get the length of half palindrome um, except center characters. So in this case, uh, max length is 5, right? And uh, center character should be 3. And so we want to get length of AB, so in this case 2, right? So if we don't use uh, minus 1, so we can calculate, so max length is 5 divided by 2 equal to, right? So we will get the correct length. So if we use minus 1, so that's, uh, so max length should be 5 minus 1 is 4, right? And divide 2 equal 2. So actually, uh, the result is the same. But um, let's look at the um, even case. So max palindrome is 2, right? Here, so 2. And uh, so if we don't use minus 1, so that should be 2 divided by 2 is 1. And uh, if we use minus 1, so that should be 2 minus 1 is 1, divide 2 is 0. And uh, as I told you, we want to get length of half palindrome except center characters. So in even case, we have two center characters, right? BB. So we exclude these two numbers. So that means we want to get 0, right? So that's why uh, actually this calculation is correct. So that's why we need to uh, use minus 1. And uh, since, um, so in odd case, uh, since uh, result is not affected by um, like a minus 1, so that's why uh, we subtract minus 1 for the both cases. And then, so I forgot um, return. So after that, all we have to do is just return s and uh, start to end. But uh, we want to include this end uh, character, so that's why we should plus 1. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Looks good. Time complexity of this solution should be O n square. So n is the length of input string s. So this is because this code uses a nested loop. The outer loop runs for each character in the string, and the inner loop expand uh, around the center can um, potentially run for the entire length of input string in the worst case. So leading to the uh, like O n square. And the space complexity is O1. So this solution code uses constant amount of extra space for variables, like a start and left, right, and the function parameters. So that's why O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.